Hello there, and welcome to the Tiny Trailer Workshop. Well, I had a visit from, from Ron the other day, and Ron brought me some neat looking wood. Um, and and also mentioned that I hadn't uh, hadn't made a wand as yet. So, I figure I'll give that a shot. Now his suggestion was, was the, uh, the Scotch broom wand, but I think what I'll do is I'll make a Scotch broom handle and use that wood as the wand. This one he said he got off a pallet. I put uh, holes on the end there because I'm going to try doing some off-center turning but I'm going to do it with the drive end off-center. I think the only time I've done it before is, has been this end off-center. So we'll see what happens. Alrighty, uh, I don't know what this wood is don't know at all. It looks like it's really cool though. I do know that that's Scotch broom and we'll see what we can make out of it. Alrighty, well, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Make sure everything's tight because this is pretty long. That certainly does spin. Um, okay, I should probably, before I go too much farther here, mark those so I remember which ones they are. We'll call that one one, seeing as that was where it was. That's only got one. I suppose I should probably put it on the sander to start with, just to round things up a little bit. Okay, I think from here we'll go to a, do a little sanding and then we'll go to the next, uh, next spot. So hang on. Number two. Okay. So that was red two, so we need yellow three. Okay, now green number four. Now when Ron came to visit the other day, it was a, a very um, 
rewarding visit for me. I got a really neat piece of, of, uh, of pallet wood and I got a really cool suggestion for making a wand and I got some of this tongue oil which I have never tried so let's uh, let's see what it does. Looks nice. Alrighty, so we'll let that do its thing. And we'll uh, see what happens with the with the handle. Pretty cool. All right, where to go? There it is. Now, this one, we have this big chunk sticking out the side. I don't know how that's going to work, but it might might be interesting. Hey, thank you, Ron. That was a nice uh, a nice idea. Okay, what do we got here? We got and the pressure. Yep, we're not going to have a stick there, we're just going to have a swoop. I think it'll look good. And seeing as we use tongue oil on the the shaft, we might as well use it on the on the handle too. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That, that looks nice. So I think we'll take that to the bandsaw, do it that way. Life a little simpler. Hang on. It's a pretty long one. It's an 18 and a half inch wand. Oh, hold it. That would make it ooh, 47 centimeters. But it should inflict some Scotch broom and a pallet. An unlikely couple, but they seem to do a pretty good job together. I want to thank Ron and his wife for stopping by with, with all these neat neat goodies and uh, 
Well, I really do appreciate it. It's very generous. Um, I see my my off-center turning didn't work out quite the way I had intended. Um, I think I see where I've gone wrong, and I'll uh, I'll remember that next time. But as far as a unique wand is concerned, I think this one fits the bill pretty good. It even has a slight downward angle of the shaft so that when you cast your spell it's more precise. Something else that's happened this week is Mike Walt challenged me to the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge and, uh, and Mike did a wonderful job of of standing up to it all um, as have a number of my other fellow wood, wood, wood turners I on the other hand have chosen to to donate instead and uh, well it's a very good cause and they've done a, a, an admirable job well that about wraps it up except that I want to send a, a shout out to Sip Mendez over at Sip's Wood Chips. Sip is a, a methodical and precise kind of guy. Uh, explains everything very well. And, uh, well, a lot of good projects and a lot of tons of, of useful information. Sip at Sip's Wood Chips. So, thanks for watching, and we hope I'll see you all next time. Bye now.